All right, guys. I'm uh, gonna do a video for you guys. Um, a video that uh, everyone has right now. It's shit hits the fan. Weapons. Everybody's always preparing for when the shit hits the fan. Uh, I think it's a good thing to think about and consider. Uh, you know, you gotta be prepared for that if it happens. So everyone has their their gun that they think will work for them for shades to fan. So what I want to do is show you the gun that I have in my collection that if the shit hit the fan I would grab this gun because I knew it could provide for me what I needed done and that's this gun right here. This is the uh, Ishapur 2A1 rifle. It, uh, <laughs> it looks like an infield. It looks like an infield for a reason <laughs> because it is an infield. Uh, it, this gun was made in India uh, there at the end of, I believe it was there at the end of uh, Great Britain's rule of India and uh, pretty much they took over the factories and uh, took these rifles and chambered them for 762 by 51 NATO. So what you have is a rugged design that's been around since World War I and before. Uh, you know it's dependable, you know it's going to work for you, and it's chambered in a modern NATO caliber, 762 by 51 So, um, a couple things that it's got going for it is it, it's got iron sights, so I can just grab this, sling it over my shoulder, grab some bullets and go because it's ready to go. I don't need optics, I don't need anything. All I need is the gun, rounds. That's it. That's all I need for this gun. Uh, it's got a box mag. That's awesome. Uh, you don't necessarily need a box mag, but having one is definitely a plus, you know, because you hold more rounds in your gun. Uh, another thing that I like about it is, like I said before, it's an infield, man. It's got that, it's got that fast infield action. That, uh, <laughs> that the infields are known for. I mean, you're looking at an infield it just chambered in 762 by 51 uh, And that's a good thing because 762 by 51 is a NATO caliber. It's, uh, it's been around for a long time, and in my opinion, it's going to stay around for a long time. Just like the 223, NATO calibers, not going anywhere. So uh, there you go. This is my gun. This is the one I picked to uh, grab. When things get bad, because uh, it's going to do what I needed to do uh, and take care of business. So, look forward to some more uh, videos coming. Uh, I got some shooting videos. I'm going home this weekend to mom and dad, so I'm going to take some guns, do some shooting videos for you guys. Uh, one thing I will say though is if I did take this gun, I would probably take my Ruger Mark III 22 pistol also. That way, it kind of covers the whole range. So. Anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Take it easy.